67-year-old female experienced severe searing pain in the lower back. At first, the pain radiated down to both buttocks, but when she came to us, the pain radiated only to the left buttock and down to the middle of her thigh. This hampered her movement. She couldn't walk or move her back freely. Her body hunched forward. She couldn't rest in bed and could not even toss. She was diagnosed with degenerative spinal disease of the lumbar spine, myotonic syndrome, radiculopathy. She also had hypertension and irritable bowel syndrome in remission. The patient underwent two courses of coma treatment with a period of rest. During the first course, she had 10 sessions in six days. The first two to three days, she had two sessions per day due to the intense pain. After the second day, after the third and fourth session, her pain started receding. She needed less painkillers. Before treatment, she took one to two tablets per day, afterwards only one at night. She could move more freely and slept better. She was in a good mood. After the first course, she only felt mild pain in the lumbar region. It increased with sharp movements. When she sat or walked smoothly, she didn't feel severe pain. Her posture straightened. She repeated the course after two weeks because her condition was active and an MRI showed severe degenerative changes in the lumbar spine, in the vertebra, cartilage structure and discs. Hernia protrusions were also detected. During the second course, she had 10 coma sessions in seven days. In the first two days, the patient had two sessions per day because she was very stressed, her pain being more intense during examination and when the results came out. As in the first course, she saw considerable improvement. At the end of the second course, her pain was totally gone and she could move freely. Both we and the patient then noticed that her blood pressure stabilized. We decreased her medications for hypertension. Before treatments, and in spite of her medication, her pressure was 160 to 170. At the end of the second course, it was 120 to 130, and the patient took one tablet of indepamide, 2.5 milligrams, every morning. The final result, after two courses, were that her pain syndrome receded, sleep, appetite and range of motion were restored. Her additional condition, namely hypertension, was stabilized.